Hey you guys, how's it going? It's PaleoDraw here, and it's time for another prehistoric animal of the month. This month's animal is Satakosaurus. You know, I just realized what day it is, and I guess you could say it's a uh, Taco Tuesday. You serious? Anyways, it was suggested by Tilly the Hat. She does all kinds of cool stuff. She makes Twitch emotes. So you know, if you're ever looking for someone for that, just contact her. I have her links in the description. Anyways, let's go ahead and find out what there is to know about Satakasaurus. So other than being the only dinosaur whose name I constantly have to spell check every time I type it, it's also one of the most unique dinosaurs that's classified as a Ceratopsian. So this guy is in the same group as the seven ton Triceratops. I don't know why it makes sense to some people, but apparently that's what scientists have done with it. Anyways, they've been found in a few places in Asia, such as China, Mongolia, and Russia. Some other possible locations include Thailand and Laos. Their name means parrot lizard, of course talking about their beak, but there's much more to them than that. They are bipedal, possibly quadrupedal as babies, and even had horns on their cheeks. They were only about 2 meters long and had teeth that were made for slicing plants. In fact, their teeth were designed so intricately that their arrangement would allow them to sharpen themselves. Satikosaurus was first discovered in 1922 when the American Museum of Natural History sent an expedition team to the Gobi Desert. One of the drivers, Wong, found the first specimen, which included a nearly complete skull. And not only was Satikosaurus found during this expedition, but also some other famous Mongolian dinosaurs such as Velociraptor, Oviraptor, and Protoceratops. Since then, more than 400 other specimens have been found, including some with supposed soft tissue, quill impressions, and even information about what patterns they might have had. The quills were pretty easy to identify, since they are pretty visible from the original specimen. These quills would have been great for display, much better than they could have been used for insulation or defense. As for the colors and patterns, the process is honestly quite complicated. More than I can really comprehend honestly, and much less explain to you guys. But here is basically what I know. When UK paleontologist Jacob Bunther and his team discovered an incredibly well-preserved specimen from China, they brought it back and pretty much fired lasers on it. Think less Death Star and more glow stick. They did this to see calcium phosphate, a material that's preserved in the animal scales. Under a microscope, they found melanosomes, which store pigments. Doing this about a hundred times or more, they got a pretty good idea of what the patterns, colors, and 3D form of the dinosaur looked like. That's when Robert Nichols, a professional paleo artist, did his work. In 2014, he made a 3D model of Satakosaurus, one that's still thought to be the most accurate depiction we have. The most commonly found in what's known as the Yixian Formation, a place that was once home to a diverse amount of life. Satakosaurus shared its environment with sauropods, mauling chylosaurs, birds, dromaeosaurs, pterosaurs, and several other kinds. It's also thought to have lived among Eutyranus, the largest theropod found with preserved dino fuzz. Stikosaurus can also be seen in a variety of media, including the show Dino Dan, the video game The Isle, and the soon to be released Prehistoric Kingdom video game. Alright, that's it for this episode of Prehistoric Animal of the Month. And as always, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and turn notifications on, that way you don't miss on a single upload. And also, if you want your chance to have your animal featured in the next episode, make sure you follow my Instagram. I'll be posting stories on there where you can submit your own suggestions. Not to mention, it also helps us grow and you get a shout out, which is pretty cool. Anyways, that's it for today. Keep your pencils sharp.